Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Monday, June 15th of 2020. It's really easy to look around today and to see what we perceive to be the end of days. As strange as it may seem, we may actually be witnessing the events leading up to the rapture and the second coming of Jesus Christ to the earth. Matthew 24 tells us that much of what we are seeing is called the beginning of sorrows, but that the end is not yet. Wars, plagues, earthquakes are taking place, and Christians around the earth are being martyred for their faith. But never have we seen in this lifetime the love of so many turning cold toward one another. Lawlessness is increasing dramatically. So many people are leaving the life of faith in Jesus Christ, returning to the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Truly, we are witnessing the prophetic scriptures of Matthew 24 come to pass. So today, this morning's prayer encourages us to continue on in faith, regardless of what the surroundings look like, for he who endures until the end will be saved. Father, your word declares in Matthew 24, verse 4, that we are to take heed that no one deceives us. You have warned us that in the last days there will be false prophets who come to us in sheep's clothing, but are actually ravenous wolves. Help us to identify them by their fruits, for they will deceive many, even claiming to be the Messiah. Father, we're seeing wars and hearing rumors of wars. Help us to abide in peace, for you said these things must come to pass, but that the end is not yet. There is continual talk of nations rising against other nations, kingdoms against kingdoms, even a nation divided against itself. Now we are seeing famines and plagues and earthquakes in various places. Father, are these truly the beginning of sorrows? All around the earth, your children are being persecuted, even killed. We are hated by others for your name's sake. False teachers are deceiving many. Woe to those who deceive your children. We are seeing many turn away from the faith in Jesus Christ, betraying what they once knew and believed to be the truth now hating and speaking against that truth of your word. All of this has led to the increase of lawlessness, which is now abounding through immorality, shamelessness, rebellion against you, and a casting off of moral restraint. Father, these things are causing the love of many to grow cold, but you have promised that we who endure until the end will be saved. Father, keep us from the wide gate and the broad path leading to eternal destruction. By your Spirit, guide us to the small gate and the narrow road that leads to eternal life with you. Oh, Father, it's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.